Yeah. Welcome back to the Junior Mints. The your host is Finn Mints, uh, and then the co-host, the guest, uh, Jeremy. Then this week we're talking uh, about uh, the about the music. So, favorite genre? Then I have a couple of favorite genres uh, that were I frequently listen to different types of electronic music, uh, reggae. Some rock and metal, some jazz. Good job on the intro, by the way. Thanks. I'm not being sarcastic. Um, let's see. Rap is definitely up there. But not all rap, though. Eminem's, like, early stuff. Like, it's 2002 stuff. Like, the Eminem show. Come on. Uh, some, some jazz here and there, you know? Because my, my girlfriend loves jazz, and she has, like... She, her her taste in jazz has rubbed off on me. So, my, I think my music taste has actually like expanded because of because of her. So that's convenient. So, kudos if you're watching. Um, what, were, you, were you gonna say something? You're gonna say something. Nah. Let's see genres. Um, favorite artists. Wait, in electronic, and uh, I have. Th- I really like uh, listening to like uh, atmospheres, audio tricks, uh, Brian Hart uh, for like uh, the hard style genre mm-hmm. for more mainstream electronic. I'll do like classic Tiesto, Armin Van Buren, uh, some Frankie Knuckles if you want to go old school house, and uh, the for reggae, I yeah I have to listen to an. Some of the Marleys, like Bob Marley, Damien Marley, Ziggy, the Julian, and uh, the, and if you want to listen to the the them, you could also do the like, Jaw Sun, Jaw Here, the um, the Revolution, Chesedek is another good one, the. The, and there's all a lot more I can to think of offhand right now, and then with the like rock slash metal, I'd say do Rammstein for metal. Rammstein, Rammstein's a good one. Yeah, I love Rammstein, and then the I do like classic rock, uh, like the uh, Bon Jovi. Oh, dude, yes. The Queen. Absolutely. The the then. Uh, Black Sabbath or like early metal hard rock, mm-hmm. uh, then uh, jazz. I'd uh, say do the Repingtons for like jazz fusions kind of stuff. Yeah. KG for the smooth jazz. Yeah, okay, dude. What do you think about? Actually, I want to go back a second. What do you uh, What do you mean by mainstream? Like, like more popular? Cause I, okay, because I hear the word mainstream used a bunch, and I never knew what it meant. So. What was it? It was just more popular. Yeah, like my definition of uh, mainstream is the, like the more popular stuff. Hmm. Like, that's it. What, what about like? Is that like a hipster thing? Like, is hipster like along the same lines as being mainstream or? Depends. I don't actually know. The so. like hipster is the, is basically the and like more uncommon stuff. Like, can you want like? Like most people want to know about like hard style, because that's not super common in at least here in the U.S. It's like super common over in like the Netherlands and the Europe, mm. but the and that would be considered like hipster at least in the U.S. Hmm. I I never knew. Like, are you familiar with the artist? Um, oh God. What, What's their name? Uh, Deer and Gray. Like no. D-I-R space E-N space Gray. They're like a heavy metal, <laughs> heavy metal song or band. Um, actually, I have a playlist of... So there's a song called... Let me look. There's a song called When the Lights Are Down by Camelot. And like... It's one of those songs that it's it's a really heavy, heavy. It's a heavy metal song that like during a workout or something. If you just need to get amped up, it's just like 
but 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 it's just dang. Yeah, and there's an another metal band uh, that I actually kind of like uh, called Goblin Cock. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a metal band called Goblin Cock. It's like Goblin Penis. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> Goblin Cock. Goblin Cock. They're actually pretty good. Or what, what genre are they? Metal. I don't know of what kind of course they're, A name like Goblin Cock is, <laughs> is definitely a metal band. Yeah, I can tell you like, like what is the specific uh, subgenre of uh, the metal Goblin Cock is, <laughs> but... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like a safety word for, for a drunken knight, just like, hey man, Goblin Cock. It's like, oh, gotta get this guy home. Goblin cock. Is it spelled like G O B L I N cock? Yeah. Yeah. Though, <laughs> there is something called kawaii metal too, where it's like J- Japanese, like, like popular Japanese to like J pop stuff combined with metal. Like the, it's like metal, but with like the J- with the kawaii the vocals. What's your Dang. Like, oh, so one of my friends, it's funny you mentioned metal or quiet vocals, because one of my friends, he knows who he is, um, he listens to heavy metal all the time, and <sighs> he listens to a song, I'd be, let's see, where would I be, I don't know, I'd be, I would hear the song that he's playing, and I would hear, like, this choral, these vocals, right, these really nice, like, vocals, and then, out of nowhere, just be like, Ugh. that's pretty good, though. I've, I've, been, I've been practicing. And I'm just kind of like, bro, what is this? And he's just like, um, you're going to, and he, he says this, he's like, you're going to sh** yourself when you hear this. And please believe, these pants for shat. Dang. i just sorry, I just went off on that. Yeah, and speaking of metal, <laughs> there's a YouTube channel with the, Doug Holt, like Jonathan Young, where <laughs> he'll do like the metal, different metal types, like pop punk, uh, punk, uh, metal in general. And it, one of the times, the one of the videos, co- songs he covered was just Justin Bieber's "The Baby." Wow. Yeah, like the where like he'll, he's just singing, the like Jonathan Young does the like the normal vocal, mm-hmm. like the singing, and uh, like I'm during the whole video, he's just glaring at the camera, like, just, yeah, I, why do I have to do this? And for this, to, and for the rap part of that song, so there's a, this one guy who's d- doing the metal screaming and rapping. Just at the oh, and like and it's like really good screaming. What the? F- like, like, it's super interesting. The link will be in the description. And uh, good plug, good plug. And uh, I definitely recommend watching that after this video. Right after this, actually. Uh, ooh. Um, least favorite genre? Uh, pop, uh, then followed by rap. Like, modern rap. Because the kind of... God. Like, the song... Like, you know that... The... Uh, God, what song is it? It's like... Body, yada, yada, yada. That oh, whole, yeah. That song can suck my ass. Uh. It's on here. I don't care. That song is the epitome... Okay, Ready? Um, think of like the biggest pile of shit you can think of. Put it right here. That's what it is. It's just yada yada yada. It's and yeah, I'm throwing shade at the artist. I don't care. That song is terrible. And yeah, and, and we can both agree. There was one time <sighs> the rap, the rap, the pop music that was made in 2020. No, <laughs> just boop. I don't know what I was doing. Just boop. Time out on that. Boop. Terrible. What are they thinking? It's like, oh, we're gonna, we're just gonna be like. Bada, yada, yada, yada. That's not even a good it's rap. Like, it's not. There aren't even lyrics besides body. It's like, oh, I want you to sexualize me. Shut up. Not you. The, the, that's the worst. Honestly, there are some. My favorite, favorite, my least favorite genre is probably Western, or I'm sorry, country music. But there are some country, there's some country music that, that is okay. 
Like, you, do you know who um, Miranda Lambert is? Yeah, I've heard the name. Uh, I think this is Miranda. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but she does the song Mama's Broken Heart. I think like that, something like that, and um, it's a really actually cheap plug. My my girlfriend actually plays in a band, you know, uh, and they do some covers of that song, and that's actually how I know about that song. But there you go. Um, honestly, I think that's it for me. What, anything else you want to say? Yeah, and, and if we want to get into country, I recommend going in the. the the classic route to, and to go with like Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, yeah. to Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, the the Garth Brooks. Oh yeah, the Garth Dolly Brooks. Parton's another great Dolly one. Dolly Parton is a a dime. Yeah, a dime. And she's playing been playing out a lot of music, like several albums. Dang, dude. It's not like the Rolling Stones or a share, no. but she still put out a lot of albums over the years. I could talk. I could talk about music probably for hours, but I think it's good for us to conclude here. What do you think? Yeah, it's a good time to end. Thank you for watching and listening to the Junior Mints podcast. As usual, my name is Finn Lawler or Finn Mints, and this is Jeremy. Good to see you. You too. And we'll see you guys probably next time. Stay tuned.